Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is like honestly late, the end of a work day on a Friday and I'm sitting on the floor in my office with my dogs and I just wanted to do a very chill empties video because I have been making some more empties. I feel like I just did one of these but I have this whole adorable pink bin full of empties and I really like sharing these with you guys and it's a huge goal for me this year to really work through my stash use things up and shop less and use more. So I'm feeling very accomplished about that. And yeah, I don't know, I just felt like doing this in a more chill vlog kind of hangout style. So I hope that's cool with you guys. And let's just get straight into my trash. So first thing is this little Ziploc bag from Billy. I'm still using Billy razors. Let me start this by saying no sponsorships, no PR gifts. I purchase everything with my own money. That's how I roll on this channel. So you never have to worry that I'm just going to show you a bunch of stuff that's like an ad. I hate that. So that said, I pay for a Billy subscription. I think it's like $9 a month. I honestly get more razors than I can use. Like I'm a little bit stockpiled, but I'm kind of finally catching up. It comes with like four razors in here. It's a cute pink razor because that matters to me. And it's a good, excellent, smooth shave. So just so I give you an update, I'm still using that. I think I've had it for what, like a year probably? Anybody knows? I don't know. I have a candle. If you see my empty videos, I pride myself in getting every last drop of things. So it kills me that this candle still has some, like at least a couple hours in it. It's Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath and Body Works. And I was determined to burn through the last of my Christmas candles, even though it's spring now. Um, and I was working like diligently to do that. <laughs> and for some reason I got this far through the candle and all of a sudden, like the whole time I was burning, it, I was like, what is that scent? Cause it's not their usual vanilla bean. It's something different. And I finally put my finger on it. It's clove. Oh. <laughs> my college roommate used to smoke those clove cigarettes and I just found them nauseating. And so the scent of clove is disgusting to me and it's in this candle. And the second I put my finger on it, I was like, nope, I'm done. So I honestly might give it to a friend because that's still a decent amount of candle in there. All right, there's an empty body butter from Trader Joe's. This is just their classic scent. No, this, yeah, this is the coconut one, which is like the classic. It smells really good and tropical vacation-y. Here's an eye cream. For a while, I was really boycotting products in tubs. Like I just don't like to put my fingers in products. So you guys probably remember I had a phase. So I switched to using eye creams in tubes. This is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery one. Very much enjoyed it, but I have to admit a problem with the tube is sometimes like just way too much comes out and you can't put it back in obviously. So I don't know, I'm using a tub one now. The fresh eye cream comes in a tub and it's not my favorite. But what you can do with the tube products, if you guys have seen me do this before, cut it open and then look at all the products. Can you see? See how much, I, like that's like a, at least a week of eye cream in there. So I like to be extremely stingy and uh, give me money's worth on these things. I have a used up brow pencil. This is the Anastasia Brow Definer. Don't know if you can see, but it has a very thick chisel tip. I used this in my recent drugstore. There's like a little bit left. My recent drugstore makeup video. Was that a disaster? And I don't, I have a hard time being like precise with that wide of a tip. It's really good if you have a lot to fill in. Like I do, like my brows are pretty sparse, but overall, um, I didn't like how imprecise it was. Also how expensive it is. I'm a drugstore brow pencil lady now. Here's an empty household item, Swiffer Wet Sweeper Mops. And I always get the Febreze flavor, I was gonna say, scent. It smells so good. Although, you know what? I randomly heard you're not supposed to use these if you have dogs. Is that true? Does anybody know? I like, our dogs have never had a reaction or anything. I don't know, I should look into that. But it's lavender and vanilla scent and it smells so good. Like, after I mop, when Nate comes in the room, he's like, whoa, what did you do in here? I'm like, just making your house a home, baby. <laughs> okay, hair product. Speaking of smelling so good, here's the Fukai. Did it sound like I was gonna say a bad word? Brilliant glossing conditioner. And it has olive oil in it and it really is 
very glossy. If you have greasy hair, it might not be good for you. Oh, it smells so good. I've shown these products before and I every, uh, I just want to smell them every time. It smells amazing. I need. I wasn't going to restock this, but I need to. It really smells so good. They used to make a hair glossing spray, which was awesome because I just used it like perfume for my hair because it smells like a perfume. It smells so good. I have an empty toothpaste. Crest 3D White. I've been using that forever. Um, why is this in here? This isn't empty, actually. Uh, hand soap. I like to get this one that has lotion in it. Also, it's pink, so that's a major win. I don't remember why I put that in there, but I can refill. I like usually to refill my soap, so I get these big Mamba Jamba containers, and then I decant it into, like, you know, my little glass soap pump. So this is the one I've been kind of defaulting to. It's Target brand. I don't know if you can see, but it's milk and honey is the scent. And it doesn't say it has lotion, but I feel like it's more moisturizing. It doesn't really smell like anything, to be honest, but gets the job done. Here is a giant body lotion. It's just cheap, suave brand. Coco Shea Lotion. And you know what's annoying about these things? They like purposefully make the pump not long enough. I don't know. You know how I'm a psycho, but there's like a decent amount of lotion in there that I cannot get out with the pump. So I have to like turn the bottle over and let it migrate to the bottom. Or I've heard of some people being so hardcore that they saw their bottles in half. I think I kind of want to try that. Um, all right, here is an empty Body Hero by Glossier. This is their daily oil wash for your body. And I think it's so cool to use an oil cleanser on your body. I think oil cleansing is great for your face, so it makes sense for your body, and then just, you know, smells are a big thing for me. Mmm, that smells amazing. It's just heaven in a bottle. I love it. Here, okay, some things I use them up and I get a sense of accomplishment and pride and joy, and I'm like, yeah, it feels so satisfying to finish something. Some things I use up and I just get sad because I know I'm gonna have to pay for them again <laughs> because I can't live without them. And that's how I feel about these Peter Thomas Roth Hyaluronic Cloud Eye Patches. I use them every single morning. I keep them in the skincare fridge so they're cold and I just put them under my eyes while I do like my meditation and my journaling and it is the best way to start the day. It wakes you up, it's so refreshing. And these specifically are just the best eye patches I've found. Here is a hand cream that I used up. Vaseline Intensive Care Healthy Hands. I love a very hydrating hand cream, and so I thought this would be a shoe in for me, but it was like sticky, so I really had to force myself to use it. But it claims you get stronger nails because it has keratin in it, so I don't know if my nails are any stronger. Probably not, because I do horrible things to them and get pretty manicures all the time, <laughs> but whatever. Okay, Dry Bar Blonde Ale. This has been my purple shampoo forever. The smell doesn't make me go as crazy as some of these other smells. But you can see it's very pigmented. It's a beautiful purple. It works really well. I swear by dry bar products. But I have switched to the cheaper Kristen S purple shampoo from Target. Seems to be just as effective. Here's an empty dish soap. It was in the basil scent by Mrs. Myers. Eh, that's fine. I don't know. I always wear dish gloves when I do my dishes so that they don't, doesn't hurt my hands or my nails. So <laughs> I don't know if that's like, it's kind of a harsh soap, but. This is a product I'm never without, and it's just a big old jug -a lug of coconut oil. I get it off of Amazon. I have a few requirements that it be fractionated so that it stays liquid. You can see that little bit left. Um, Cause you know, coconut oil is usually solid and then you have to wait for it to melt and it's like a whole thing. And it comes in a plastic tub because I keep this in the shower. I once broke a glass jar of coconut oil in the shower and I will never do that again. That was horrible. So this I actually use instead of shaving cream one of my top favorite beauty tips. Here's another candle I didn't use up. Isn't that sad? And it's such a cute candle left over from Christmas. Gingerbread swirl. And the moment I had the realization, ugh, like, ugh, they both smell like cloves to me now. I can't unsmell it. It smells so bad. I don't know how I burned this far into it. And I love gingerbread and I love vanilla. I just really don't love clove. Let's move on to a happy scent. This is not just a happy scent, but a happy memory because it's from my dear friend, Anat. She's like the queen of so many beauty things, but especially spray deodorants. 
because you can't really find the good ones here in the States. So she hooks me up and this one was Adidas. Doesn't really say like a flavor. I don't know, the pink Adidas, oh, it smells so good. I would 100% invest in a perfume of that odor. Like, it just smells amazing. I have another dish soap that I used up. This one was the pumpkin scent. I just love the packaging. It's so precious with the little pumpkin illustration and I love orange. It just made me happy to have that on my counter even well after fall. So I'm kind of bummed that that's out. Another Mrs. Myers product. This was the geranium counter spray. Um, yeah, none, of, none of her scents are like, make me stop this video and go crazy, but I just feel like they're decent cleaning products. Okay, back to skincare. We've got the Fresh Soy Face Cleansing Milk. This is another one that when it ran out, I was like, ugh, I have to immediately go purchase this. Like, dang it. <laughs> Luckily, I try to budget ahead for products that I know I'm like gonna run out of and like I don't wanna live without them. Here's another lotion. This is just good old cocoa butter. I think cocoa butter is like the best body moisturizer you can get. It has vitamin E. It like gets rid of scars and stretch marks and it's just so effective and it's so hydrating. I have a problem with this packaging though. Yet again, it was really hard to get the bottom out. I had it upside down for days. If I go nuts and get the saw out, I might saw this one open. <laughs> okay, Witch Hazel. This is a really good toner. Rose Petal. I get it at Whole Foods. You can, some targets have it. I don't know. It's kind of my go-to because Witch Hazel is so good for your skin. Yet another product, when this ran out, I cried a single tear down my perfectly freshly masked face. <laughs> this is the Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. I've been talking about this on my channel since I started, I think. Clean it out real good. It has the best spa-like black tea scent. It just is amazing. I put this on before I go out and I feel like it just gives me a new face. It's amazing. Okay, I recently went through a box of this, Cold Calm. I talk about this a lot too, because I try to always have it in my purse. The second I feel a sore throat or someone within like a five mile radius says they have a sore throat, I start just cramming this stuff and knock on wood. I have not had a cold all year <laughs> and since, I guess since October. So seriously, knock on wood. It's like a big goal of mine to like boost my immune system. This was a lotion, actually it was a like a primer, it's the Vitamin Enriched, Vitamin Enriched Face Base by Bobbi Brown. And I really liked it. it. Smells delicious and orangey and so good. I like putting vitamins on my skin. I feel like I'm giving them like just a little glass of juice and I feel like it's good for my skin. Loved this, loved it. I use it as a lotion, not as a primer more so. But the bottle shape makes it really hard to get out. Like you have to go in and over. You know, I already don't like digging my fingers in products, so that was frustrating. But I just used a um, my beauty spatula, which always comes up in empties videos because that's how I get every last drop of things. All right, this was, I need to restock this too, Olaplex Hair Perfector. I use it like an overnight mask. There's a lot of, that's, that's not like the way you're supposed to use it. Let's see. You're supposed to put it on and shampoo it out like after 10 minutes, but I sleep in it and I think it's really good for your skin, for your hair. Probably might be good for your skin too. All right, this is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and I got this set that had a few different little minis in it. This one was like honeysuckle scent. So cute and so good. I love that mask. Hair Mask by Diva Curl. It's the Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. I think I got this with my points at Sephora. It was nice, but I don't feel the need to like purchase the full size. Here's another just major, major regret. I was so excited to try this product. I love Kristen S. Her hair products at Target are amazing. So I saw this signature gloss. It's in the color Winter Wheat, and it's like an at-home toner that you can apply to your hair. And it was supposed to make your hair just a little bit more like of an ashy blonde, and just seemed like this could be a perfect solution for me. I was so excited to try it. First of all, my hair came out exactly the same color. I took before and after pictures. I hope I still have them. I'll put them in here. It was just, it made absolutely no difference in my hair. If there's any difference, it might be because I used my purple shampoo to wash it out. And I carefully followed all of the instructions, which were very nicely written in its defense, but it just did nothing for my hair. And 
it tangled my hair, like matted my hair in a way that was terrifying. Like I was scared for my, like when I touched it, I was like, this is not my hair. Like I've never felt it that texture before. It took forever to brush it out. I probably got some breakage in the process. It was honestly a little traumatizing. So I'm really sad that this one Kristen S product did not work for me, but I still really love her line and her products. This is an old standby Moroccan oil dry shampoo. This falls into the category of like, when I use it up, I'm like, ugh, gotta rebuy it. I just have to. It's for light colored hair and it has a little bit of a purple hue, so it gets rid of any brassiness. And if your roots are past due, which mine kind of are getting to be, it lightens everything up and I just love that. Here is one agave bite balm that's totally been empty. I always dig my lip balms out because there's so much product in there. So I usually dig it out and transfer it into another thing. I've shown that. I have one here, but I guarantee you there's like four, five of those empty around my apartment right now. I probably need to go find all those. <laughs> Here's a, another brow product. This is the e.l.f. pencil that I really enjoy. It's completely out, but it's a little more precise and it's just so much cheaper. So that's what I've been using. I already replaced that. Here is one of my favorite setting mists. It has SPF in it by Supergoop. I don't use it every day because my lotion and my foundation has SPF in it, but if I'm like out and about in the convertible and I need to reapply, or if I'm at Disney, I definitely do it. It goes over makeup so well, which is nice because you don't have to worry about like, how do you reapply your sunscreen once you have makeup on. This is a lower, lower lash mascara by Clinique. I always use this. It has the cutest little baby wand. I probably have like one of these in every empties video because I just regularly go through this. It's just, it's a good one. Here's an empty hand sanitizer, Warm Vanilla Sugar by Bath & Body Works. Uh, another empty hand cream. This is my like maybe second or third favorite hand cream I've talked about. It's by Supergoop, it's SPF 40. So good for this skin right here to protect it. But I just don't find this to be as good of a lotion as my beloved Deborah Lipman which I don't show in my empties as much because I get like the giant tubs of it now <laughs> and I surprisingly haven't run out of that. Okay, the last product is another one that I wept a single tear and immediately restocked it because this is my baby, I love it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Multi Miracle Glow Cleanser, Mask, and Balm for Baby Soft Skin. Never has there been a more accurate title. It is a true little miracle. Smells like a little piece of heaven. It has like a vintage Hollywood, like old Hollywood dressing room vibe. Like it just smells so good. It's such pretty packaging. You can use it, like it says, as a cleanser, as a mask, as a balm. You can almost use it as like a highlight and like make things just glow. It's beautiful. And I like to use it as a mask, as a balm. When I'm in the shower, I use it every single night. I just love it. It's like, it is a, it's a spa moment in a bottle, in a tub. I don't even care that it's in a tub. I just love it so much. So now I need to properly wash, recycle, dispose of all of these things. May or may not bust out the saw first. Okay, I know this is beyond ridiculous for like a $2 <laughs> lotion, like suave, but I wanna test this theory out. So be careful, don't try this at home. I have my saw, I'll actually link this on Amazon. Who would have thought I'd be linking a saw in an empties beauty video? But I really like that this is like pocket knife style. It seems a little safer for apartment living. So let's see what happens. For safety's sake, I'm gonna try and finish this off with scissors. Pretty easy. I probably could have done this whole thing with scissors. I didn't have to be that dramatic. But wow, look at all of that. Oh my gosh, that's so much. So there is a ton of product. Like I said, obviously this is a cheap product, but I still don't want to waste it. So I'm going to transfer it into my beautiful empty Charlotte Tilbury tub. I have my beauty spatula that I was mentioning. I actually should really just get like a big kitchen spatula. Like that's how much we're dealing with here. So I'm just using a spatula, which I will obviously wash before it comes in contact with food again. And voila, and a whole tub of lotion worth. So if you're just about as determined to get every last drop as I am, this will do it.
Thank you for making it through another empties video with me. I love to share my trash with you guys. And I hope it inspires you to get some products that you love, to use up your stash, um, most importantly to treat yourself. Give yourself your own little spa moment as much as you possibly can. So make sure you hit subscribe and there'll be lots more goodness to come. Thank you for bearing with me for just like a chill sitting on the floor. <clears throat> no makeup left. <laughs> kind of end of the week, end of a long, long week kind of vlog. So not a vlog, empties. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.